Hi guys, um, this is um, my spine calculator for the printing industry I made. Um, it was programmed in C Sharp, which is part of the Microsoft.NET framework. Um, so if you want to use this, I'm, I'm putting it up for download for free on my website. So I'll just show you how it works. If you have a perfect bind book, there's different options of different binding styles here. Yeah? Saddle stitch, it will only calculate the shingling for you. But if it's a normal perfect bind book, um, just click on perfect bind here from the drop down menu. Yeah, you have to select whether it's a coated or uncoated paper. The bond paper is just uncoated. Um, we'll select coated here. Yeah. And then over here, you have to, if you select coated here, yeah, you have to select either gloss or matte. So we'll choose gloss. And then we'll choose, say, 113 gram paper. And we'll put in 200 pages. And then click on calculate spine and that your spine size is 10.3 millimeters so if you want to calculate shingling for a book you put that on the binding style on saddle stitch let's leave it on bond uncoated it'll take 80 grams and say it's 64 pages and say calculate shingling and that will give you 1.6 millimeters of shingling okay so if you want this application, um, you, I'll put a link to my website in the description of this video. Um, go to the downloads page. On the downloads page, you can just, you'll see there's a spine calculator here. Um, so click on that and it will download the application. Then once you have the application, it's a zip folder so once you've extracted it you'll you will have um, this folder that says windows forms application and then just go into that and then go into the other one that says windows forms application and then go into your bin folder and then into your release folder and you can actually copy this and this is your application you can copy and paste it wherever you want it and then just double click on it to open it and then you can use it so yeah i hope this helps you guys um one more thing is that if it doesn't run you probably need to install the microsoft.net framework you can just go to the microsoft um dot, dot net framework um website here and then just um download the latest Microsoft.NET Framework, it's currently on version 4.71. So if you download that and install that, then the application should run just fine. So I hope this helps you guys. Cheers.